Hello and welcome! When using Inkscape I ran into a little problem. You can see this vector graphic of a keyboard, it uses hundreds of gradients. Thankfully, if I click on one of these and hit Ctrl Shift F, and uh, let's see, if I, again, if I click on a surface that uses a gradient, I can see this uses gradient name 3248, which is used 108 times, let's call it key. Grad. I wanted to edit this on all the keys, so I what I did is I clicked on this uh, node of the gradient and changed the color, hoping it would change everything. But nope. Instead, it created a new gradient, as you can see here, two seven four two, and and uh, key grad now has one hundred and seven users, one less. So let me just undo that. Control Z. All right, we're back to one oh eight, and the solution is quite simple. Uh, the thing is, on the left-hand side, you have to not use the edit path by nodes. This is a mistake that I... I think this is because I used Inkscape for a while. So the new gradient um, editor is still new for me. So what you have to do is press Ctrl F1 or press this icon over here to select the gradient editor. And now you can see up here that you can lock the gradient. It actually says link gradients to change all related gradients. Just hit the lock and now if you click on one of the nodes and change the color, it changes them everywhere. Fantastic. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to gray but much less dark. Yeah, a little shading is fine, too much is too much. And whoops, didn't want to do that. And I can just keep doing this let me just use the F2 key, uh, F2 uh, editor, F2 uh, node selector, edit path by nodes, F2 key tool to select the shapes. And then once I zoomed in a little, I will change the details. So this is how I'm going to do it. We have uh, three more gradients that we can edit. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. Let's uh, change this one. Just going to click on this again. Gradient editor. It's locked. So I'm going to change it to, say, 173. And if I click this, 170. Ah, now this is different. Here's a problem that uh, these things are not gradients at all. It would have actually been better if they were. Huh. I don't have a solution for this quite yet. Oop, my mistake. So I think I, w I don't have any other option but to select them all individually and then change the color to 173. Yep, something to think about. In this situation, it would have been good to use a gradient with two nodes that are identical. So I'm just gonna undo that all. But for gradients uh, that are linked and don't depend on shape fill colors. This feature of uh, selecting the gradient editor and then locking or unlocking it or linking or unlinking it is perfect. I hope this video helped. Please subscribe and like this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions about Inkscape. I have many other tricks in short videos. You can find the link to a playlist in the description of this video. Hope to see you there. Until then, Ciao!